Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to convert temperatures. So you know from your notes that you took from the slideshow, there's three different temperature scales. There's Celsius, which we use in science class. There's Fahrenheit, which are primarily used by Americans. And then there's Kelvin. Okay, Kelvin's down here. And it's like the name Kevin, but you had an L in there, and it's Kelvin. All right, so we're going to start with Celsius to Fahrenheit. And these are the same three sets of problems that are on your notes worksheet. I just put them on a separate piece of paper and spaced them out a little bit. All right, so let's practice with these. So number one, we're converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, and this is the formula. So F, that means Fahrenheit is equal to nine over five, that's a fraction. You multiply this fraction by C, and that's your number. So this first one is 42 degrees Celsius. Then you add 32, and that's a conversion formula for Celsius into Fahrenheit. Now a quick, easy way to do this is to figure out what this fraction means. So make sure you have a calculator. So nine divided by five, that is 1.8. So whenever you use this formula, um, just plug in 1.8 instead of nine over five. And it makes it a little easier because the first thing you do is multiply what this fraction means by your number you're trying to convert. So it's 1.8 times 42. Make sure to press the equal sign and then you plus 32, that last little step. All right, and it says 107.6, 107.6 if you can read that. Now temperatures, I like to round them to the whole number. When you go to high school and college and you're taking physics class and such and chemistry classes, they may want you to keep that decimal point to make it, but to make it a little easier for middle school and completing the assignments, we're gonna round them to the whole number. It just makes things a little easier. So 42 degrees Celsius equals 108 degrees Fahrenheit, because 107.6 rounds up to 108. So that next one, 12 degrees, remember nine over five, that means 1.8. So 1.8 times 12, press the equal sign, plus 32, and that's 53.6, so that rounds up to 54 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, then letter C, zero degrees Celsius. So zero times 1.8, of course, is gonna be zero, and then you add 32, that's going to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the freezing point, all right? So if you have any questions about those, make sure to go back, rewatch that portion of the video. Now we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna start with Fahrenheit and then convert it to Celsius. So if you notice these two formulas here, they kind of look like opposites of each other. So up here is nine over five, and this formula it's five over nine. And then instead of adding 32, we minus 32. Okay, so think of it as going backwards because we are. Now we're starting with Fahrenheit, and we're converting that back to Celsius, all right? So for this formula, degrees Celsius is equal to five over nine. So just like we did for this one, we're gonna figure out what that fraction means. Okay, so five divided by nine, and we don't wanna round this, okay? What I like to use is 0 0.555. You see it repeats a little bit, and then there's a six, just use 0.555 for this fraction. And then we multiply 0.555 to what that number is minus 32. So our first Fahrenheit number is eight. So in here, in parentheses, we substitute F for eight, eight minus 32. And then we multiply whatever that is times 0.555. Right, so eight minus 32 equals times 0.555. And we get negative 13.32. And we round it, so that rounds to negative 13 degrees Celsius. All right, so letter B, 84 degrees. So we're more familiar with Fahrenheit degrees. If I say 84 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a nice spring day. Okay, it's getting kind of warm there. Okay, eight degrees Fahrenheit. That's really cold. Okay, that's winter time. 
we rarely get that cold. 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's blazing hot, like the middle of the summer. Very hot, very high temperatures, very uncomfortable. Okay, so 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So 84 minus 32, we're doing what's in parentheses first, and then multiply 0.555. So 84 minus 32 times 0.555, I get 28.86. So that rounds to 29 degrees Celsius. All right, the last one in parentheses, 100 minus 32, multiply by 0.555 minus 32 times 0.555, and we get 37.74. So we round that to 38 degrees Celsius. All right, and then the last one. So Celsius and Kelvin. So when we compare Celsius and Kelvin temperature scales, Kelvin's always going to be a higher num number. Kelvin's always gonna be a much higher number than a degree Celsius number because these formulas are very easy. If you start with Celsius to convert it to Kelvin, Okay, to convert to Kelvin, you need to add so that number is bigger. If you're going from Kelvin down to Celsius, you're always going to end up with a smaller number. So you're going to subtract. You're going to subtract that number. And that number is 273. Okay, so 25 degrees Celsius, we're trying to get it into Kelvin. So we're going to add that Celsius number is 25. It's going to be 25 plus. 273, because you're starting down here, and we're adding to make it a bigger number. See, 273 is that constant number. If you start with Celsius, you add 273 to make it a bigger number. If you start with Kelvin, and you go down to Celsius, you subtract. You subtract 273 to make it a smaller number. A Celsius number is always smaller than a Kelvin number. So that's how you know whether you add or subtract. Okay, so 273 plus 25, that's 298 Kelvin. All right, and we notice we end up with a larger number than the Celsius. Okay, so again, 10 degrees Celsius, so 10 plus 273, okay, that's 283 Kelvin. I notice there's no degree sign for Kelvin, it's just capital K. Okay, now we start with Kelvin and we go down to Celsius. So we know we subtract. So 330 minus, minus 273. And we get 57. Now we bring back that uh, degree sign, 57 degrees Celsius. All right, so I hope that was helpful temperature conversions. We're going to do some more practice with that this week. I'll see you next time.